Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. And a goggler nailed him with its ivy. Oh, no. Okay, so the one I'm probably going to choose, although beating an ultimate weapon does sound awesome, I'm a sucker for rescuing friends. Let's do this. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Okay, so Lapino is somewhat of a shady character. Although he is the spy of the rebels. That's probably why he gave them a crappy flying horse. <laughs> I wonder how much it varies between the choices there. I wonder if he makes a massive impact or Lapino if he makes a... had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... had everybody fled the ravens? Bernardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. <laughs> okay, so you can get some ores out of these things. I'm gonna smash every single one now. Hey, a chest. They really need to fling the ore that far. Alright, let's see. What's gems? Gem socketing. This is the gem socketing menu. Here you can equip powerful gems that will augment both your offensive and defensive capabilities. Your gauntlet has three sockets into which you can put gems. Select one of the sockets to see your gems. Okay. Each gem has three levels and its effect increases with each level. Picking up a gem you already have will automatically upgrade that gem's level. You can find gems in the chest scattered throughout Boreas. If you're lucky enough. Lucky? Luck's got nothing to do with it. Okay, I basically haven't found any gem. Right, let's look at swords. Okay, so I need 30 ore. And that's like ages away. Ooh, Void Blade. Winterthorn. Firestorm. Okay, so it seems like we got the normal sword, which probably has some variation, cap basic variation capabilities. Void, which I can only assume is like the dark. We got ice and fire. So light, dark, ice, fire. I shouldn't think too much about it. And just enjoy the game. Ooh, wait, can I? No, you cannot. Okay, let's just go into the portal. Okay, it's not a portal. Renato wondered if it wasn't cheaper to build bridges and stairs. Probably would be cheaper. I wonder if you can fall off. Nope. <laughs> Imagine if you could. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks past, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the Raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. I just realized I should have paid attention. I just realized we just went through an overview of the map. <laughs> and I didn't even bother looking. Oh, what's this? Can I do anything? No? Okay. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. 
That's probably where I need the fire sword. Cabbages, anyone? Okay, is there backtracking in this game? What does this three holes do? Ah, so these ones give ore. Oh, no, they can give anything. Do I have enough? I do not. Hero sword? Ah! So these swords are very much like keys. Which reminds me. I should probably play Kingdom Heart when I get the chance. Oh man, I'm gonna need like what? 20 or 30 more? Can we just agree to disagree? Ooh. Said Renato. No? Very easy combat. Ravens were landing everywhere. The Ooh. advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? <laughs> Alright, so we're getting a bit of the, the lore of the land. Ravens must be. Uh, I was thinking of a pun and I lost it. It's like famished, but with an R. Yeah, two barrels, one barrel. Chest. Ooh, ooh, fire essence. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It was wow. Nice to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. I was so bad at that. <laughs> Damn, I just want ore. Okay, so dash, a supernatural dash. Ah, oh, so it's X. Yeah, let's buy it. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Okay. So they just repeat that. Get over here. I'm just trying to do some fancy stuff. <laughs> wow, it's so easy to level up. I so I'm glad Ronaldo I played these. A chill Oops. run down his back, or possibly a flea. Probably a chill. I'm glad I play these games because I can catch back up on my English. As you can probably know, it's not the best. What else can we upgrade? Perfect strike. Attack immediately when the previous attack hits to land a perfect strike. Bonus damage and double combo bonus. Can I upgrade time? Slow down time after successful counter until your next action. Take a breather. Plan your next move. That sounds good too. Aggressive defense. Countering an enemy now causes damage. That sounds great as well. Increase health or run faster. Oh, I do like running faster. Just something about 
walking around that slow doesn't but I do like combat and I do like time all right let's do time he missed his old skills he welcomed them back like it was at a reunion because <laughs> he kept talking about time so I figured might as well get it and thank you wonder dog English isn't my first language but uh, I have been learning it for quite a while It's just those more uh, complex words that get me every now and then. Why, oh, hello there. Oh, that barely gave me any experience points. Oh. <laughs> I like the narrator. I like how they make this all like story-like. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's the rabbit. Lapino. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah. We see this guard owed me fifty-three ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter. That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Okay, another choice. I wonder how much this actually affects the, the storyline. Okay, so the first one, pay a call on Zuniba. Okay, so Ronaldo and Lapino were back together, but Ronaldo, or well, Reynaldo, still needed a game changer to save the rebellion. Maybe Lapino was right. Maybe they should go kidnap the Emperor's only daughter the, and greatest general. <laughs> I think this is a, not a sound plan. Uh, extracting intel out of her would turn the tide in the civil war. Why not just convince her to be on the side of the rebels? And now we got the, the eye of the lost god must hold great power. Reynaldo and Lapino. Okay, that's the exact same thing. I gotta learn that the first sentence is the exact same regardless. It's just the title and the second sentence onwards. Even though Reynaldo could no longer get the Sky Ripper's armature, its core was still within reach. Maybe he could still harness its power with Lapino's help. Hmm. 